Hey friends, I'm Andrea of a Work Apart Studio and I wanted to take just a minute to talk to you about Under the Influence. It's a series that I run um, as a Zoom class. It's online, it's live. And what Under the Influence is, is a time where I walk you through the process of looking at an artist's work, um, breaking it down and taking bits and pieces to be inspired um, working under the influence of their inspiration. Um, there are so many fantastic artists who share content and process and just lovely inspiring work. Specifically on Instagram is where I'm gathering um, this in inspiration for us. Um, and I don't know about you, but this is very typical of me. I'll have my phone, I'll be scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Sc oh, wow, that's really cool. Oh, wow, I, wanna, oh, I would love to try that. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. And then I move on and I do something else, right? I don't think I'm alone in this. Um, what under the influence is, is a time that you are um, with me, you're in your art room or your kitchen table or whatever, um, I'm with you, I'm sharing my screen and we're looking at a specific artist for the day. We're looking at their work and we're saying, oh my gosh, look at that. Look at the way that they use this color. Look at the way they use pattern. Look at the way that they use this technique or this material or this medium, or I'd never thought of doing that. That looks so cool. I wanna try that. Um, with my number of years of experience teaching, um, oftentimes it's, so sort of second nature, the way that my mind works is I try to break things down. I'm like, huh, I wonder if they did this first or this. And so um, that's what I do with you. I break it down and I approach it how I would approach it. And I show you sort of real time how I'm taking inspiration and I'm making it, um, I'm, I'm using it in my art journal. I'm influenced by the artist, which is exactly what they want, right? When I share content online, I love it when people actually receive that content, they're inspired by it and they're inspired to work and to get to, to the work of creative play. That's really the bottom line. I want you to do the work of creative play. Um, and I hope that that's this, a similar feeling. I know that it is that the artists that I choose um, to bring in as our inspiring artists, the inspiring artists of the Under the Influence series, um, all want to inspire you to work at the play of creative practice. Um, I wanted to share my screen and show you some of the work that we did in the last series. So in the last eight weeks, we, um, we covered the art of Joy Chard, and you can see here, she does a lot of these uh, little thumbnail sketches. I thought that was just fascinating. So this is in my art journal. This is a, a beta series art journal, a seven and a half by seven and a half beta. This is the artwork uh, under the influence of Mary Lou Cuddy's Marshall. And I love the way she has this line work over top of this loose watercolor background. Now the last eight week series, I had a heavy influence of watercolor um, this next one is more just art journaling. So it's going to be a lot of mixed media. There may be watercolor in it, but not all watercolor. Um, another Magnolia piece inspired by Mary Lou. Um, this one is Laura Dame, Laura Dame art. And so I loved the way that she used some sort of gouache on top of book paper. Here's another piece that I took heavily inspired directly from her work um, on Instagram. And actually Laura came in and chatted with us at the beginning. That's another really cool thing is that since we're doing this on Zoom and we're not just relying on in-person classes, um, these teachers, the, the inspiring artists, sometimes will actually hop onto Zoom with us and introduce themselves and tell us a little bit about their art and their influences and their inspirations. So this is Laura Dame. This was Suzanne Rose art. Really love her. Um, botanical drawings and loose watercolor to go with it. So this is another piece inspired by Laura Rose art. This is Nulzi or Suze, uh, uh, Sharon Nullmeyer. I absolutely adore her work and we've covered her in several series before. 
Um, I love the way that she combines lettering and this uh, illustrated piece as well and lots of color. And so what I do when I walk you through this process is we look at the artwork that the, that the inspiring artist shares and then I take you through, okay, this is how I would actually um, look at that as inspiration. This is what I would do. This is the first step that I would do. Um, and you may do that for yourself as well. But what I'm hoping to teach you or inspire you in the Under the Influence series is how to actively be inspired by other artists and try new things so that you develop this language of creativity, um, of creative practice that you can put to use and make the art your own. But because we're under the influence, this is Southern Gals Designs, this is Tiffany Goff Smith. Um, but when we're working and we're looking and we're learning and we're trying new things, we are arming ourselves with a variety of new techniques that we can put together and make it our own. This is Suzanne Vinson art. You should really follow Suzanne Vinson. I absolutely adore her um, pattern work with watercolor and she her lettering is fantastic. I just sort of fell back to my old lettering style, but um, Suzanne Vinson is the artist that we were under the influence here. And this one, we were under the influence of um, Windy Sulganic, Willa Wanders. And um, this was one of her old, uh, influenced by one of her older pieces. And again, I just went back to my old way of lettering but you can take bits and pieces from artists and um, be inspired. It's like picking up a new, it's like picking up a new spice at the market, right? You're gonna make your same recipe, but when you throw the spice from a different culture or you, you're trying something new, it flavors your own artwork differently. Um, and that's what it's like to work under the influence of other artists as we start to, um, I don't want to say morph and change, but I think that we we get better the more we practice trying new things, not just falling into our old patterns of creating. So this Under the Influence series starts Tuesday, May 4th. Um, I invite you to join us. You can join for individual sessions or you can sign up for the entire eight-week series. It's absolutely so much fun to come back week after week and you develop a relationship and we chat as we're creating. Um, I, I guide you through the, the inspiration part. We, I share my screen. Um, we look at the um, influencing artists. We look at their feed on Instagram. We pick up a, a project or a piece that we're going to be inspired by. And then I share my, my desktop screen, just like I did just now. And I talk you through the process that I'm going, talk you through what's going through my head as I think, huh, this is how I would start this. This is what I would do next. Um, and like I said, oftentimes the artist actually hops on at the beginning and um, we get to ask them questions. And that's a lot of fun too. Not always, but sometimes it does. So anyway, that I just wanted to let you know that's what Under the Influence is all about. And I hope you join us. All right, we'll see you sometime soon, hopefully. <laughs>